The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you. Thank you that you have made me a temple, that you're making me pure and holy, tried and true, that you're making me to be everything that you've called me to be. God, I didn't create my mind. I didn't create my body. But sometimes, God, I've created the situations that I'm in. But thank you, God, that you always give me a way of an escape. You always give me a game plan. So help, God, to heed your instruction. Help me to heed your warning. Help me to accept your love and follow your guidance. Help me to know that you are a good, good father. That's who you are. And I'm loved by you. That's who I am. Help me to understand that you are a way maker, a miracle worker, that you are light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Everything I need you to be, you are. You are not short and you are not slack concerning your promises. You are always on time and you're always having good thoughts towards me, plans to give me a hope in a future. God, and my hope is built on nothing less than your love and righteousness. God, thank you. Thank you, God, that songwriters have long written about your glory and your honor. God, and I get to see it. I get to experience it in my very life. And I praise you. Thank you for your word that is true and helping me to be true to your word. God, make me the living epistle that you are calling for in these days, that my life will be a billboard, that it will be an example, that it will be a beacon light to draw souls, God, not unto me, not for attention to me, not for ears to me and eyes to me, but God, to you. Let them see less of me and more of you, God. Let them choose to connect with you, to commune with you, to sup with you. Let them draw near to you so you can draw near to them just as you said in your holy scripture. God, I just praise you. I thank you. I thank you that you are truly setting out to heal the world, man, woman, boy, and girl. I thank you that you are healing families, You are healing situations, you're healing minds, and you are healing bodies. God, I thank you that you are still saving souls. You are still introducing yourselves, self, to people who will take you into themselves. Thank you, God, that we can put on grace, put on peace, put on love, and put on Christ's character simply by saying yes to you. It'll be the best yes we ever uttered, the best decision we could ever make by allowing you to make your home in our heart. God, that we would be that temple, that we would be that sanctuary, that we will be that vessel that holds the priceless gem, which is you, your spirit, your essence. God, thank you so much. Thank you for not being a respecter of person, but a respecter of principle. God, and let us walk out the principle, the instruction each and every day. God, and when it gets hard, there'll be hard decisions to make. There'll be tension. There'll be people pulling one way and people pulling another. But help us to find ourselves on the side of right, on the side of righteousness, on the side of your word, your glory, your grace. We love you on today. Thank you for what you're doing in our faith, our family, and our finances. Thank you for continuing to show up as only you can. God, when we open our mouths, let us speak as you would speak. When we open our eyes, let us see as you would see. When we open up our ears, 
let us hear as you will hear and walk as you will walk and live unto you not ourselves god but you not our will be done but yours and we thank you that in that is our healing in that is our victory in that is our success in that is our brighter day and we love you on today father we praise you and we give thanks we say hallelujah and amen